Uh, kia ora tato. Uh, and apologies if this is coming in a bit late. I've had a pretty full on day today. Um, so, day 43. Yesterday we had a kororo around the manuao. Uh, quite timely, I guess, as yesterday we celebrated 80 years since the opening of the manuao. We talked also yesterday about um, the significance in that uh, prior to the opening of the manual, the Kiikopu was actually opened several months earlier on the 6th of February, uh, Waitangi Day. And so we got into a lot of kōrero around why that was um, possibly done that way, bearing in mind that Ratana, he was a prophet of God, and he did things in a specific way, um, in a divine way, he was divinely inspired. So we also gave acknowledgement to the other rooms. Aroha, Rangi Māre, Whara and Pikitekaha. Um, so I, I guess in this corner, I want to acknowledge that there are several names to the Manuwa. One is the Kohamutuna. So that is the name that Ratana gave, another name that Ratana gave to the Manuwa. In acknowledgement that there was Mahi that he was not able to complete. Um, and I guess as a reminder for us that I, yes, there is still a legacy for us to continue to work towards. Uh, so Manuel Kohamutuna and the third name was Teaka. So these are the three names that this big green building down at the part is known for. And each name actually represents something significant about um, specific teachings that he was trying to leave behind for us. Um, so I right, that's enough for for today Fano. Tomorrow we'll drop some more cordial. Um until then, Namanakita Kirungi Yoko Takatoa. Matu Tomawai to be my own point to Mara to come my own yakinia.